Transcribed. Ladies and gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes our star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads presents the lovely operetta, Frederica, with the great music of Franz Lehar, starring Gordon McRae and his charming guest, Patricia Morrison. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and the music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight, another great musical success is brought to you by the American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and all the other things you use in your daily life. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Thank you, Marlon Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, I shall be the poet Goethe, and lovely Patricia Morrison, the girl he loved all his life, the unforgettable Frederica. Why not? The gold in the sky and the silver in the treetops are spinning us so warm. Every leaf has a voice. Every breath of wind plays a melody. Listen. Who <laughs> will you always wish to dance with me? Always, Frederica. <laughs> Well, you dance for a poet. Ah, that's the trouble with the world. Nobody believes a poet can do anything but moon and posture and wear silly clothes. Oh, the whole forest is singing. I want to be with you always. Ah, but someday you'll be famous. You'll forget me and this tiny forest in the country. How could I? Every thought I have, every dream I have, every dream I have is Frederica. Rising star, my rising star, you're just a vision, yet I see you plainly gleaming. Rising star,
can you be sure? Everybody says that girls are so hard to understand. A man doesn't learn to understand anything at all in this world, my darling. Unless he loves it. But tell me, how can you know? How can you be sure, Frederica? Oh, I asked somebody. Who? guys in this part of the country. Greater, Greater, where are you? Oh, it's Lenz from the university. Here we are, Lenz. Greater, everybody at the university is looking for you. They say it's the most important thing that happened in your life. Now come, quickly. Hey, Greater, I congratulate you. For what, Herr Knebel? The Duke has read some of your poetry, some of your little plays. He offers you a position as a member of his court at Weimar. But I don't wish to leave here. Could... Could Frederica come with me? Certainly not. Well, then I won't go. But you can begin work on the... The devil story of yours. What's it called? Faust? Yes. You will have a theater. Publication for your poems. They won't just drift away in the forest. Incidentally, the poem the Duke liked best... Was your Rose in the Heather. You know, Herr Knebel, who the Rose in the Heather is? Frederica? Once a you... Hello.
Captain Abel, tell the Duke that I am honored, but I cannot accept under those conditions. If you stay here, you'll be compelled to become a greengrocer or a farmer so you can buy your wife a petticoat. Either Frederica goes with me as my wife, or I don't go. Very well. I shall communicate with my mouth. Good old friend. Yes, Lance. You did want to go to Weimar, didn't you? Ah, it was the dream of my life. And what will you tell, Frederica? A lie, Lance. A beautiful lie. Fräulein Frederica. Yes? I'm Dr. Nabel of the university. Oh, can I do anything for you, Herr Professor? You can do a great deal. For our young friend, Goethe. I would do anything for him. This young man has a very rare gift. The ability to put on paper what you and I merely feel. I know, I know. He has an opportunity to go to Weimar. But he will not go without you. And the Duke would not permit such an arrangement. Oh. Give him a year at court. Two years at the most. Oh, he must go. I'll make him go. But you must find a woman's way of telling him. Yes. Yes. Even if I must lie to him. Dance with me, Frederica. No. Why not? Listen. Did you hear the music in the treetops? No. Our dancing days are over. It was fun for a while to make believe while you were a student. Like acting in a play. Frederica. But a girl must be practical. Herr Grunwald, the merchant from Strasbourg, has asked me to marry him, and and I've accepted. I don't I don't believe it. He will give me a carriage, a home. Perhaps we shall have a family. Uh, a merchant is much more practical than a poet. I see. If life is to be a smooth ride, one must be sure of a handsome carriage. As for me, I shall continue to walk. Goodbye, Frederica. Oh, no. oh. Forgive me, Frederica. I was listening. Oh, Len. Did you mean that? About marrying Herr Grunborg? No, Len. But by the time Goethe finds out, he'll be in Weimar. But you're throwing your heart away. Oh, no. No, Len. I'm sending it with him. Turn for the second act of Frederica in just a moment. Now, here's act two of the Lawrence and Lee version of Franz Lehar's Frederica, starring Gordon McRae as the poet Goethe and Patricia Morrison as Frederica. <laughs> strange street. You are with me. I hear a waltz playing, and you are in my arms. We're back in the old days. Days that were silver and gold. Oh, Frederica, where are you? What has happened to our youth? I'm lost. I cannot live if you're not with me. Your mind to keep zooming in the hands. Said the rose, my thorn goes deep. I will laugh and you will weep. Once I'm held in terror. 
This Duke is waiting for you. Tell the Duke I'm through with writing flattering poetry on birthday, please. I'm a poet, not a marionette. A little late for such a heroic speech. Eight precious wasted years too late. But your major work, old friend. My major work. Life is my major work. For this manuscript, look at it. Unfinished. Maybe it's the story of my own life. Faust sold his soul to the devil. I've sold my soul for fame and glory. Where are you going? Home. I'm going home. It's a wonderful party, Len. Oh, it's... Not very often a little town like this gets to see a famous poet in the flesh. <laughs> Why, do you know that for dinner we've named every dish after a poem of yours? Oh, I see. <laughs> You're going to make me eat my own words. <laughs> but I cannot eat. I cannot do anything, Len. Till I get just one look at Frau Grunewald. My friend, there is no Frau Grunewald. She's dead? No, but she never married Herr Grunewald. She never married anyone. Now... If you'll turn around, there's a lady in the doorway who is smiling at you. Oh, Frederica. Frederica. Well, welcome home, Herr Goethe. Dance with me. Oh, it is not often I can dance with a famous poet, except in my imagination. Oh, Frederica, just knowing you were here where my mind could touch your mind across the miles... It made this earth a garden. Do you remember how we danced in the forest? I remember. What have you been doing all these years? Why haven't you married? I've been an earthmaid, taking care of other people's children. And I've been waiting. Oh, Frederica, come on to the moonlight with me. This. This is the moonlight. Oh, I've listened to it every night. And do you know what the villagers call me? Romantic fool, that's what they call me. The sensible one who sit in the old tree shed. Romantic fool, what an enthralled me. A story that his error. He has distracted you from your work with his petty requests. He promises you a year, two years if necessary, of solitude and financial independence, so that you might finish Faust. No. And meanwhile, he will build you a theater, the finest in Germany, so that your great work can come alive on the stage. I'll write it here. A man must live, and a man must do what he must do. Oh, my dear love, you must go. Your work is important. Frederica, I do. Nothing will prevent me from returning. The time will pass quickly. There's a whole lifetime to look forward to. A whole lifetime. Oh, Frederick. No. 
No new hopes. Let me keep the old memories. Goodbye. Goodbye. Why did he kiss my heart away and point the road along? said to Mephistopheles, give me back the old emotion, the bliss that touched the verge of pain, the strength of love, love's deep devotion. Oh, give me back my youth again. Oh, every word I write says, Frederick, Frederick, my youth, my heart, my life. Turn in just a moment. Meanwhile, our thanks to Herb Butterfield, Tom McKee, and to our entire company. Frederica by Franz Lehar and Edward LSQ was dramatized for the Railroad Hour by Lawrence and Lee. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at this time by the American Railroads. In most parts of the country, the opening whistle of the Railroad Hour locomotive starts your popular Monday night of music on NBC. And an important part of the night's train of music is the Band of America, sponsored by City Service. Tonight, City Service is celebrating its 25th anniversary on radio. So congratulations, City Service, on your enviable record of entertaining America. And now here again is our lovely Frederica Patricia Morrison. Thank you. 
Thank you, Gordon. It was a thrill singing that great Franz Leha music with you. Well, you must come back real soon, Pat. Next time, I hope I end up with you instead of the devil. Hmm. Uh, this boy is a pretty foul worker. <laughs> Um, who are you romancing next week, Gordon? Well, the lovely Dorothy Kirsten, Pat. And we're going to be warbling the great Rudolph Primmel music of the Firefly. Mm, happy Janina Mia to both of you. Good night, Gordon. Good night, Pat. You were wonderful. All aboard. Well, it looks as though ready to pull out. So until next Monday night and the Firefly, this is Gordon McRae saying good night. <laughs> Federico was presented by arrangement with Century Library, Incorporated of New York. Gordon McRae will soon be seen starring in Warner Brothers' About Face. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. This is Marvin Miller saying goodbye until next week for the American Railroad. Now keep tuned for your Monday night of music on NBC. <laughs> Preceding was transcribed. Stay tuned for the telephone hour next on NBC.